Hello and welcome to my Cube Worlds Let's Play. Um, I started a Let's Play, I think I'd done about four videos, and it went absolutely uh, horrendous. It was like the worst thing ever. So I was playing as this guy, so I'm going to uh, uh, probably I'll delete this character. I don't play this one. Actually, yeah, I do. No, I won't delete this character. I will delete, I'll make a new character, and I will be the same as I was, except a rogue. I will be a lizard rogue. Lizard rogue. Even though Ranger was fun, but I'm I'm doing a let's play with someone else um, who I'll put in the description by the way. Um, all the videos are on his channel, and I'm playing as a ranger. So I think on this I'll play a rogue. Um nom 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 nom. It just has to be done, and I have to have a I have to have a giant pink mohawk. Oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. What's that her? Looks like he's got like a fin. No, I don't want that. I think I do want the giant mohawk and I want it to be purple. There we go, I'm sorted. And I will call him Chaos Dharma. There. Ah, creative name. Okay, and I will delete my first world. Uh, delete my first world. Because that was what I was playing on then. I'd done a lot, but you couldn't see any of what I was doing. Cause baby's world. I don't even know what that is. Oh, here I do. Ignore that. Seven, 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 five, five, five. Random numbers. Um, solo LP world. And I'm now going to be in the world as soon as this is finished. So, in case you don't know what Cube World is, you should look it up. I mean, I will be doing a kind of let's look at Cube World video like I did. I'm being attacked. No, that's not fair. I'm not, I can't even see. I can run around. Anyway, I'll be doing a let's look like I did with um, Scrolls and Super Hexagon and a few other games. And just uh, Why is it so hot here? Ah, let me fight back. Okay, I died. It's going so well already. I'm already dead. I haven't even gotten the game yet. <sighs> Come on. But anyway, Q World is a voxel based RPG in which you choose between. I think there's eight classes, no, eight races and four classes. You've got human, elf, dwarf, um, goblin, orc, lizard man, undead, um, frog man. It's just, yeah, that's eight. I think that is all the races. Ah, oh, here I am. But you choose between eight. Oh, for God's sake, what is going on? This, oh. um, but then you choose between four classes, and there's warrior who smashes things, rogue who runs around and dodges and poisons things and a uh, mage who can f shoot fireballs and heal people and stuff like that a uh, ranger who's basically like I'm gonna stand over here and go pew 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 with my little bow and he stuns people all the time so ranger is quite fun and here I am in cube world except it's being really slow it's the first time this has happened I've been recording videos just to test if it's slow, and it hasn't been. But as soon as I record a video to put on YouTube, it does it. If it gets too bad, I'll fix it. My friend had the same problem, and he restarted his PC, and it just worked. Ah, here we go. It's kind of slowed down a bit. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is go to a town. So if I play M, it brings up this lovely little 3D map, and you can see that the town is pretty much northeast. So we need to head in that direction. This direction. And on the way, I'm going to kill, well, attempt to kill stuff because this game is incredibly hard. It looks, it, it's, it looks easy, but it's not. Oh, I'm going to collect these cobwebs. Why is it being slow? <laughs> Options. Where's a bee? Can I kill the bee, or is it too high of a level for me? I might be able to kill the bee. I'll attempt to kill the bee. If it doesn't fly around. I might be able to kill this bee. Just a maybe. 
If I don't lag everywhere, I can spill my lag upon others. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm killing the bee. I've got this bee, it's mine. I'm gonna die. Ah, I killed the bee! <laughs> it's just like left stripes on the floor. Alright, well there's my first enemy kill, and there was a bee. I need, I need to collect everything. I'm gonna get so distracted on the way to this town, I know it. So as you can see on the screen, I've got my little mini map in the top right. Oh wow, what is that? I think it's a platypus. Oh, it's a duck bill, which is basically a platypus. Let's kill it. Um, ah, as you can see in the oh god, as you can see in the bottom bottom section of the screen, I've got my health, I've got my mana points, I've got my first two attacks, which are mouse button one and two. Oh god, it's gonna kill me! No, don't kill me, duck bill. I only want to be your friend. There we go, I've got one XP, that was pointless. I'm going to drink a potion. In the bottom I've got um, another four slots for my attacks. Which I unlock through the skill tree here. So at the start of the game, basically you want to pick whether you want to be one of these two. I have Assassin and Ninja. Nin ninja looks like my kind of thing. And here are the attacks you can unlock. Uh, it's quite a nice skill tree, he's going to adventure a bit more than what is already there. But um, the interesting thing with mages is you can be a fire mage or a water mage. Fire mage is smush everything, burn, burn, burn. And water mage is I'm gonna I'm gonna heal everyone whilst doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Um, just so you know, if you're thinking of getting this game, it's worth it. However, this game will make you hate mages for the rest of your life until he fixes it, because mages kill you basically. You don't stand a chance because they never miss. Well, that town was close. Okay, I can I can I can live with this kind of life. Right, so now we're in the town, Lucoria City. Now we're in the town. Oh, why? Why do you lag? Why do you hate me? Is it is it because I'm a lizard man? It's, it's called discrimination, you know. Cool little piggy. Oh, okay. I can't. It's too close to the town. Alright, so basically what I want to do, first things first, as soon as it gets to this town, I want to find the general store. The general store is, 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 is the general store. That's the only way I can put it really. It sells all the things you need that are general. Like um, empty flasks to make potions. Uh, okay, I need to go this way still. Empty pa flasks to make potions. It sells the hang glider, the boats. Uh, each town has a certain um, item that you can feed to animals and tame them. Uh, for example, when we get there, I will find the item, and hopefully, if I, if it's if it's a good item, I'll be able to show you a creature which isn't rare. Um, like for example, oh, I need to collect these. Collect as many of these as you can. You make potions with them. For example, this this is an inn. I don't need an inn. Inns let you sleep. Uh, ah, there's the general store, the one with the little uh, potion on the side. So I'm going to head in there, and in here, there is a, a window, which I can open. It's pretty hot today, so I'm just going to open all the windows. And for the first time in like any game ever, you can actually sit on benches, which is pretty handy. Especially when you're playing with a friend and they're sleeping in a bed, you can just sit on this bench next to them and stare at them, it's quite fun. Alright, so basically, now I've got to the, um, uh, now I've got to the... The general store, that's the one. I can sell all this rubbish, which I don't want. Because um, when you start, you start with two or three sets of weapons. I start with uh, daggers, which I've got equipped here. I start with um, fists, which I can equip and punch stuff with. And an, a, an, and a sword. The sword is not my thing. Neither of, the, neither of them. So I'm going to right-click and sell them to the vendor, which gives me 80 copper. With that, I will buy some cotton candy. And I'll show you what that does in a minute. So I'll right-click that. And I'm going to buy tons and tons and tons of glass flasks. I'm going to buy 50. That's as many as I can buy. So I'm going to keep right clicking. Keep right clicking. Click. Right, I can't buy 50. I've got, I've got 39. But now I've got them. I need to find water. So, Okay, I can't go out the window. Um, that's right. So if I look on my map, I should find some water somewhere. It doesn't look like there's much water anywhere. Right, so I've got everything I need. I'm going to head towards the nearest quest, which is that one. 
So over here is a quest or a boss or something which gives me lots of experience. And there's a river on the way, so so we're going to head that way. And we're going to take on this boss. And first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the inn, talk to the incredibly loud innkeeper, and set the time to 7 p no 7 a.m. because playing in the dark in this game is no fun at all because you can't see what you're fighting and you die before you even see. So something needs to be done about that. I don't know what can be done about that, but it needs to be fixed because you die so easy no matter what because you can't see what you're fighting. So I'm going to head up here. Is that pumpkins? Okay, I'm going to get some pumpkins. There's lots of pumpkins. I got some cotton candy in the shop as well, which is um, each shop gives you one pet food. So you, if you want the others, you either have to hope they drop from a random vendor, I mean a random enemy that you kill, which is quite a rare drop actually. Well, why are you being so laggy now? Just because I'm picking up pineapple. Have you, have you got a thing about not liking pineapples? Oh yeah, I really should show you this. Um, you can climb in this game. If I just run into this wall and hold down control, I'll climb it. And it lasts until your stamina. Oh, I just want, I just want, I just want pumpkins. So it's almost time to I think I have to go this way now. I forgot which direction I was running. Oh god, there's a sheep this way. I'm going this way. I want that sheep. I, I can show you taming sheep. Because I have cotton candy, I can get pet sheep. So if I now go into my inventory, go to this pet tab, right click the cotton candy, and go here, Mr. Sheepy Sheep. Sheepy 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 Sheepy. See, look, he loves me. He's eating the cotton candy. Look, look, I have a pet sheep, and I can name him using slash name pet. No, not name Pat. Should we call him Pat? Yeah, we'll call him, we'll call him Pat. Pat, Pat the sheep. Okay. And then we need to remember what direction we we're running in. There's a, there's a fight. There's a fight. Die, Richard. So uh, that's what dying looks like. Um, that was a silly idea. So we were heading for that, weren't we? Which is west. So if we just head west, we'll eventually get to that. Uh, unless anything interesting happens. Unfortunately, it's going to be quite a slow run. So hopefully we'll run into loads of evil enemies of death. And I won't get much lag. This will be fixed in the next episode, because I, I think I just need to restart my computer. But it's not too bad. If I look back at the video and it's absolutely horrific, I won't upload it. But it should be fine. Uh, right. I mean, I um, I done a registry clean on my computer, and it found loads of unused f oh pineapples. It found loads of unused files. I had about fifteen, no, I think it's seventeen and a half gigs worth of unused files, which I could just throw away. And it really sped up my computer, I was really surprised. So, <laughs> I recommend you do that. If you're finding that your computer runs slow and it never normally does, I definitely recommend you do it, because it works so well. My computer starts up faster as well now. So I'm going to destroy this bush. Take my own, pat the sheep, and collect everything. And I'm going to go run in and jump them. This game tends to be quite slow until you get off level 1. Once you get off level 1 and start fighting stronger enemies, you level up so quick. Like, so quick. Like, it's like, oh, oh it's ridiculous. Like, um, I was doing a let's play with that person I was talking about, which is Buffy McMuffin. And I will link him in the description so you can check out our let's play. And, um, we, we, were, we were so slow until about level 1. And then, no, level 2, sorry. And as soon as, as soon as we started getting skills, as soon as we started leveling up a bit better, we just skyrocketed all the way up to six and seven, and it just goes so quick, and it gets a lot funner as well. And and on that account, I can ride my rabbit. I have a pet rabbit which I ride around. I ride my trusty steed, which is a rabbit into battle. It just looks so funny. Oh, people! Can we kill them? Can we kill you? No, we can't kill you. You're friendly. 
th this game has quite a lot in it already. Considering it's alpha, there's, there's not much to do besides kill things, because that is pretty much all that's in the game right now. But there are really fun things to kill. Like, uh, there's giant turtle monsters, which, like, spin around and, and destroy the trees and destroy the floor when they spin. It's really cool. There's, there's, lo there's tons of stuff. Even just killing things is fun in this. Um, however, there are quests which you will see as we complete it when we get all the way over to the uh, the uh, the cross swords over there. Over here, if we if we manage to kill the boss, ah oh, right, if we manage to kill the boss, we get loads of XP. But firstly, I need to show you this. The whole reason I was running to a river it doesn't look like it, but I am in water right now, which means if I press C and open up my craft menu, I can go in here and create water flasks. Were these flasks I bought earlier? Uh, you can't really see it because it's behind the text, but down here it says 39 out of 1, which means I have I need one one flask to make a water flask, and I have 36 of them, so I can just keep making them until uh, until until my heart's content, really. I'm not going to make them all because it's quite slow, but I'll make quite a few. Uh, I'll, probably, I'll probably make another 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh, I made an extra one. If I now go in here, as you can see, I have heart flowers and water flasks now. So I need six heart flowers and twenty water flasks. So if I now create some um, some po life potions, which you seriously do need, what's fighting? Let's go help this fight. Ah, oh. I did get a dagger, which is better than my dagger. Oh yeah, I didn't even have to fight, and I got a nice dagger. So I got a new dagger. It's pretty fun. And I'm gonna continue to continue to try and get to this boss. If it's up there, I'm gonna cry. Sometimes they put the bosses on like all the way up there. Oh, thank God it's not. It's just across here. Destroy this. So there's quite a lot to do. Um, there's so much crafting. There's quite a lot of skills. Every level you get two skill points to put in whatever you want, and. Um, I normally put them in my pet master first because I like riding my sheep or uh, my um, sheep and bunnies and stuff around. It's really fun. It's quite a significant speed boost as well. So I'm just going to use one of my potions here. Um, there's two types of healing items in this game. There's potions which you can drink while you're running around, so they're brilliant for battle. And food. Food you have to sit down and eat, and it takes a lot longer to retrieve your health. So they're better for when you're out of battle. So you can save all your potions. Ah, defeat the ruler in Kurgor Canyon. So I have to find the ruler of Kurgor Canyon. With my trusty sheep. So, when we find it, it'll pop up on the mini-map as like a little skull. And we'll be able to see where it is. So the boss will be somewhere around here. Unless I'm not even near it yet. Which... It's more this this direction. So as soon as I find out, I'm going to try and take him on. And I'll probably end the video, depending on how it goes. But, so far it's going pretty well. What's that? I haven't seen one of them yet. Oh, it's an undead. It just looked weird. Oh, okay, it's got pink hair. Kill the undead. <laughs> how funny noise is that? That was the weirdest being punched in the face noise ever. Oh, these, these guys are fun to take on. Because these guys don't really do much damage. See? I took them on with these. So if I now check my inventory. Oh, oh wait, these, these guys on the other hand. These guys aren't easy to take on. I have to say, uh, I've tried all the classes now. Uh, Rogue is probably the best for soloing right now. Because you just seem to do a lot more damage than anything else by yourself. Um, oh god, what have I done? I'll put the dagger back here. Uh, everything else I found. What's that? Blue jelly. I think I contain jellies of that. Um, wait, well the rulers are the rulers down here. Is he the ruler? Uh. 
I'm just gonna kill this guy. And then I drink a potion as I, as I go take out this guy. Take out these guys. As, uh, on my previous um, playthrough, I've never been able to kill all these ones, so. See, I would never been able to do that on my Ranger. Whilst Ranger is good, Ranger and Ranger just tends to be more of a team team effort. Oh, I think he's up there. So that, that means I have to climb up here. And there's tons of enemies. See, Rogue just does tons of damage, whereas everything else does a minuscule amount of damage in comparison. So I think I'm gonna keep keep on Rogue for this for this let's play. No healing for you. So if I try and take out this guy. I've now got another guy after me, for God's sake. He's, try he's trying to punch me. Um, uh, oh, God. Ooh. What items did I get? Okay, what items did I get? I pressed I. Why isn't it coming up? I. 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 Okay, my inventory isn't working now. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to show you crafting. So I can craft these pineapple slices, but only at a campfire. If I try and craft them over here, uh, over here, apparently I can still craft them. I just found a bug. So look, if I now click on like here, it says requires. C oh, okay, maybe you don't need them. Oh, okay, you can craft them anywhere. You can craft pineapple slices anywhere. That's pretty good. Whoa, whoa, what the hell is this? I came out of friggin' nowhere. This is tough. Whoa. Gonna need a pineapple slice after this battle. Whoa, where'd he go? Aha, I gotcha. I got 20 copper for that. Alright, so now I'm going to show you crafting. So I'm going to... Why? For some reason, uh, this game has a bit of an issue with uh, delaying. When, when you press the buttons, it's not doing stuff. See, look, see, look, see. It takes ages. It's, 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 it's a serious issue with it. It needs to be fixed. Uh, so I'm just going to create some pineapple slices. All you need is one pineapple per pineapple slice. And you'll see, and you've seen me use potions, you'll see the complete difference when I use a pineapple slice. Let's see if I press tab, I can switch between my items. I'm gonna eat a pineapple slice. Look how slow that is recovering in comparison. But obviously, you can't move. You can jump. You can jump while you're nom 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 nom. You can jump while you're eating them, but other than that, it's just it's pretty pointless to be honest. So I'm gonna climb up this. Oh, wait, no, there's the boss. Glad I didn't climb up there for no reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this guy first. Kill everything in the area before I take on the big boss. Killed my sheep. You killed Pat. I said Pat, not kill. Alright, so there's lots of enemies around here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. Hmm. I'll wait for Pat to come back so I have a little, a little backup. All right, let's do this. As you can see, rangers and and stuff are overpowered. Do you see how much damage that boomerang done? What the hell? Okay, there needs to be some kind of boundary around the spawn where enemies can be. 
<laughs> the amount of time I died at spawn. But luckily I'm a ranger. I'm ra uh, rogue. Flat. Rogues are pretty, pretty hefty guys. It's because of the campfire right there. Right, I'm going to heal up and then take on the skeleton. Skeletons take quite a beating. Oh god, see? They use stuff like that. Um, you can press the middle mouse button to dodge, which is pretty handy. I think, um, oh, battered iron fist. I can't use that. I think as the uh, as the rogue, you do a bit more damage if you dodge and then counter attack, or it might just be a skill, it might just be in my imagination. But it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to try and do before I end this video. I hang on, what time? How long have I been recording for? I don't actually know. Screw it. I'm just going to carry on anyway. Unless it freezes, in which case I might have to end the video. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the video there for now, guys. Um, I'll see you.